guys welcome back to my channel and i'm feeling all summery today because i have a kimono on sorry about that uh today i am going to do my top five um kind of neutral lipstick lip glosses kind of thing um basically i am into nude pinky kind of lips so much at the moment if you didn't already know um it was kind of inspired obviously by the Kylie Jenner kind of trend and yeah I've just been loving kind of a more nudie pink lip for months. Um, I would talk through my top kind of five shades and brands with you. But yeah let's get into it. So my first lipstick choice is my holy grail of kind of a nude lip shade is um, the MAC lipstick in Faux which is this kind of nudie pink colour and apparently this is the one that Kylie Jenner wears this is probably at the moment my all time favourite lipstick and I like to pair this with the MAC lip liner in the wall which I tend to use all the time um, as it's quite a nice kind of nude colour to kind of line your lips with. This is pretty much my favourite lipstick at the moment. Um, I kind of tend to use it on a daily basis. Second up we have this lipstick from Gosh, which I believe you can get in Superdrug. Um, this is a kind of darker um, nudie shade. I would say it's like the MAC Faux but um, quite a bit darker. Um, if you wanted just to have a bit more of a dramatic lip. Obviously it's not like a dark plum or anything, it's nothing like that. It's just more of a um, dark, rougey pink colour. This is in the shade 122 in Nougat. Um, I really like this one. I also have a lip liner to match from the Gosh range and they go really well together. Um, I really like the packaging on this, it's kind of like a matte kind of finish on the packaging. Next up is this Bobbi Brown shade which is a kind of a lighty pink again. Um, this is a lip gloss and this was, I think I got this in like a gift set kind of thing from Bobbi Brown. So um, this is why it's like a travel size and it comes on this little applicator brush. Um, I'm not a fan of this brush because it kind of, it always gets a bit too sticky and doesn't quite go into the tube that well, so the bristles and the edge are kind of pushed out, so um, yeah, but you can still uh, apply it to your lips, I just tend to use my finger to kind of um, push it around my lips, but this is just a really nice kind of nudie gloss, it doesn't add like a lot of colour to your lips, um, which I think is good, it it's a good kind of um, colour to wear over like another nudie lip just to give it that little bit extra gloss. Four on the list is this Makeup Revolution lipstick. This is a really nude um, pink and it looks like that. It goes on very nude. Um, I would say it's a good colour if you're trying to contour your lips, um, it's a good colour to put in the middle to lighten up the contour. Uh, this is in the colour The One and I really love Makeup Revolution products. The only thing with this lipstick I would say it's not that highly pigmented so you kind of have to put quite a lot on. Um, to kind of make the colour that that actually looks like but I think this is like two pounds so it is it's worth it really. Last but not least is a new purchase and addition to my nude collection. This is the Bourjois Rouge Edition in Velvet. It's a lip gloss but it um, is like a matte finish so this is what I'm wearing today and it's really weird because I've never had like a matte um, lip gloss before so it's kind of a pinky colour, I would say it's kind of like a pinkier version of the MAC Whirl um, 
but I believe these are kind of a new product like these matte lip glosses I think they're really good and to apply and the color is really pigmented you don't need to like really put a lipstick underneath um, I tend to lip line my lips just so the lip gloss won't kind of go over um, and it stays to the shape of my lips but yeah I'm really really digging this product